So I needed a, uh, a switch for two meters for my vertical and uh, my horizontal beam, which I use on sideband and the vertical on FM and also on 440. So I, I got this MFJ uh, unit, which looks very similar, <laughs> I've got to say, to the uh, Diamond version of the same thing. This was supposed to be DC to 3 gigahertz and uh, on the back it's got uh, pretty good uh, specifications here. Uh, 2 kilowatts at uh, DC to 30 megahertz here. 30 to 200 megs is a kilowatt. 200 to 500 megs is 500 watts and then 250 above 500 megs to 1 gigahertz. Insertion loss is supposed to be uh, greater than 0.05 dB. I think they meant less than. Uh, or greater than 0.1 dB, again, I think they meant less than. And um, two, 2 gigahertz is supposed to be in the same kind of loss category. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, output port isolation is supposed to be 70 dB and 60 dB um, from DC to 500 and 500 to a gigahertz. And then at the higher frequencies, uh, 55 and 50 dB. So uh, that's what I want to investigate as well as the standing wave, which is supposed to be greater than uh, 1.05 to 1 and greater than 1.1 to 1, to 1. Again, I think that means less than. And then uh, still a pretty good standing wave all the way up to 3 gigahertz. So let's uh, take a look at this uh, take a look at this unit and see what it does. I'll just pull it out of the package. Let's see here. I guess I've got to get uh, the staple out of this thing so I can open it. And uh, we'll pull this out and keep the card for uh, reference. Here's what you get. You get uh, a switch. You get two screws to uh, mount the switch, I presume, through these two holes here. Got a center off position. Got uh, position one and position two input, I would presume, the two outputs. And... Uh, I'm not sure if that's a center off position. It certainly is not detented, but we'll uh, we'll find out. Anyway, this would go to here. This would go to here, uh, presumably, and uh, the other port apparently is shorted whenever you uh, switch. So just be aware of that in case you have any kind of situation where that's not appropriate. So. This is the uh, MFJ, uh, let's see, MFJ 2702, 2702. They also make an end connector version, which would be probably more appropriate for DC to 3 gigs. However, since I'm using this at 2 meters and I don't have end connectors in my system, I'm going to use it uh, with the, uh, in, uh, the uh, UHF connectors that are on this one. This test setup shows the uh, uh, loss through the uh, switch, and as you can see, it's uh, not very uh, very much. There's a little ripple here, which is primarily the instrumentation cables and stuff, uh, but pretty much very low loss, up to uh, one gigahertz, even with the UHF fittings. Here we uh, have uh, switched the switch to the other port so that only the leakage gets uh, across to the input to the spectrum analyzer from the uh, tracking generator. And uh, as you see, we've got uh, uh, 60 dB or so. Uh, the ripple there on the yellow uh, line is due to uh, beat notes from the leakage, which is the lower line. Here we have uh, that uh, in detail. The blue line in this case uh, is the uh, beat noted uh, leakage of the switch and the bottom line is the leakage internal to the instrument of the tracking generator getting to the input. Okay, what we have here is a local digital signal. It's very strong. It's the highest the strong signal I could find. This uh, unit goes up to 470 as far as reception, but uh, 
the windy strong signals up there in my area. Uh, switch I'm using, of course, is our uh, MFJ. And I think this, this has got to be very similar, if not from the same manufacturer. I'll switch that off. Um, same manufacturer as the Diamond one. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I think that's the case. But anyway, we switched over to the other port here. As you see, it's gone. $33, I don't think it's a, a bad buy at all, and certainly is good for VHF and UHF. Switching it to antennas, what I'm using it for, I have one antenna here, which is a vertical for uh, 400 megs and uh, 2 meters, and uh, the other one over here is the beam antenna for the uh, 2 meter band, horizontally polarized for side band. The last thing we're going to do here is look at the uh, return loss, and you can see the curves here on the screen. Uh, showing how it goes through the switch to the uh, uh, dummy load here, and then uh, the uh, other trace uh, is the uh, uh, dummy load directly on the return loss uh, bridge, or well, actually in this case, uh, directional coupler. And the details on that are shown here. The yellow line in this, uh, the purple line in this case, is the uh, dummy load directly on the uh, directional coupler and the uh, yellow line as you see is very similar and uh, shows the problems that you have with UHF connectors beyond say 500 megahertz or so.